If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be taking a look at a funnier deck, if you will. Big props to Ryan for sending me this list from Japan. We are going to be using Seeking. So if you're a Tail 1 subscriber, you know that there's a Seeking emote right there available for you to use where we had like when we did the pokedex we had um seeking just completely wreck opponents and it was really nice and it became sort of a meme for the stream so that's why i have a seeking emote and now we have this very derpy looking seeking with the googly eyes and the smile with the tooth out and um the attack ripping horn will rip apart your opponent's dreams right Play three coins and then for each hand you discard energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So it should be should be pretty fun. Yeah, to just deny energies with that, with crushing hammers, with Articuno GX's Cold Crush Dreams GX, and we also get to make them pay by discarding cards from their hand. We get to lost zone energies if we need to, and then we can eventually get to a point where we use Oranguru or the adults in order to recycle Belva and win that way. No search, though maybe there's merit for a search. We also have Looker to get back the Oranguru pieces, but essentially we want to deny energy and <coughs> it depends on coin flips for the most part, but it should be a fun deck to try out. I do not vouch for the competitiveness of this deck. Steven Humula, thank you so much for the follow, but we will see. Isn't there an item card to guarantee a head slip? There is a supporter, yeah, there is a supporter called Will, where your next coin flip is you decide the outcome, whether heads or tails, um, but I don't think that's worth it because we are going to need to like stabilize and whatnot. And Sparty Pants, you're loving the new Rillaboom card. You still have problems with fire decks, of course. Well, there is the worst. <laughs> well, there can be pretty annoying, that's for sure. That is for sure. Well, their decks are definitely less powerful now, though. So that's a good thing, right? Um, all right, so my opponent will see this and will be very confused at the looker. But he'll probably see the dolts and think, dolts and Belelba, and he'll think, oh, great, another mill deck. We'll see though, we'll see if, I mean, obviously this deck's worst match with Malamar that has infinite switches and can just go back and forth. Can simply go back and forth. Um, not the best start, well, this is fine, I guess. This is fine. And we're up against Pigram, where denying energy will actually be pretty good. Acrobatics to compensate for the slowness of turn one. Loses a Pokemon catcher, that's good. Hopefully that's all my opponent does. Once again, oh, there's a quick ball. Losing another Pokemon catcher, that's good. Why are these not stacked? They're from different sets, that's why. X, Y, and I don't remember what set that is. <clears throat> there's a Pigram. I wonder if my opponent is just holding the Tetene. Does have energy, does have peak drum. No, simply passes. Alright. Alright. Very nice Orangaroo top deck. I feel like 
this data will become seeking. This is pretty big. And I'm just gonna put research research. I need cards, I need basics, I need other things. <coughs> Treebeard31, thank you so much for the follow as well as the Twitch Prime subscription earlier. We flip hand switch is very nice. And now, like I kind of fancy going custom catcher on this Coco. I actually really like that. That should really put a dent on my opponent's plans to um, to get a turn to full blitz. Like that's definitely gonna slow him down big time. <coughs> and then we have our seeking. We can put resources back. We can Cynthia Kaylin back a professor's research. Seeking is just gonna wreck my opponent. Goodbye Thunder Mountain forever, which is great. We see a Pokemon Catcher Tail Slip, so basically one cost effect left for my opponent since three Pokemon Catchers are gone. So Seeking, last Pokemon Catcher. I don't understand that move. Like why use it? He could use it, but why use it? Will he try to like retreat, tele change, spike drop plus electro power into KO Ditto? Needs energy switch for that as well. And without the den, I don't imagine my opponent has exactly energy switch and electro power in his hand. <coughs> I guess he could, right? He definitely could. We'll see who he retreats into. Oh, well, there's the Electro Power. So one card is our anger, right? Oh, there's the Divinity. Okay, so he's digging for it. It's not the end of the world if we lose the Ditto, though. Definitely not the end of the world if we lose the Ditto. It would be pretty funny if my friend just leaves the Coco there. And we go Ripping Corn. Acrobites. So my opponent going really full turbo mode here. Thanks to the air balloon I can retreat. Awesome, awesome, all right. All right, so we're gonna do things in the right order. We're gonna discard the energy, we're gonna get back. Well, I can just Pokemon Custom Catcher infinitely, I guess. Oh no, <laughs> that's so bad. Um, do I want to discard the energy or do I just want to get back resources, put back resources back into the deck? Um, I really just want to use Ripping Corn, honestly. Uh, am I weak to Lightning? Yes, I am. It's okay, I have the 120 HP. I'm just gonna Ripping Corn. Goodbye, energy. <laughs> Okay, we should have an energy counter, right? We should definitely have an energy counter. Okay, energy discarded. And we don't want the text to be that big or that small. Okay. Is that good enough? We can't see it because it's back there. All right. So there's the energy switch, but my opponent needs two electro powers to knock out the ever powerful seeking. Okay. I guess we'll put the counter here. Energy discarded so far, one. Okay. Well, no, we can't see it there. We'll put it here, on top of me. There we go. That's the second Electro Power. No, that's just one Electro Power so far. And <laughs> if we lose the Z-Gang, it's not the end of the world. Energy switch. <clears throat> Another energy switch. Is he going to deal 500 damage? No, 400. He's going to deal 460 damage to the Z-Gang. <clears throat> He's actually going to do 460 damage for Seeking. Poor, poor Seeking. Okay. Alright. This is Seeking from Sword and Shield. I feel like my opponent's just gonna cry when I do this. 
Uh, I'll draw the energy, I'll play the rod, I'll put back the fishing rod and the air balloon, and then we'll go research. And we'll do this, and then we'll do this. And then my opponent is out of Coco Prism. He's out of Thunder Mountain. That's four energies. And we should see a concession sometime very soon, I'd imagine. Four energy discarded so far. I think that number is going to be pretty big. All right. So let's go ahead and Crushing Hammer, Tails. That's completely okay. Let's go ahead and look her, I guess. Uh, that's very nice. We can start setting up another fishy. <laughs> and I'm not getting KO'd next turn, so this is perfectly okay. This is perfectly, perfectly okay. How many energies is my opponent down? Six. Hello, Trick Shovel. Poor Seeking. Why? Poor? Oh, yeah, Poor Seeking. That's <laughs> wrong. That was not very nice what my opponent did to the Poor Seeking. I'm gonna discard the Lucky Egg, I feel. And I'll get back the Looker. I wanna be too harsh on my resources. I do need to find an energy at some point. There's my opponent's worst nightmare. And we'll go ahead and pass. Imagine if we have Misty Lorelite in this too. Maybe I do actually. I think I do. Yeah, I should have one Misty Lorelite. All right. My opponent is also down four Pokemon catchers, right? So there's no way he gets past four dolls, especially not if he goes like pulpits into it itself, onto itself. Plays the Electro Bar, plays Cynthia, six cards left. We are so winning this game. We are so winning this game. Articuno goes down, sure. Is that a big deal? Not really. <coughs> Not really. Two prizes for my opponent. He will power himself up with two more energies. He has four cards left though. He has four cards left, and I top deck Belilba. So I'm just gonna Belilba, right? Yeah. And what did I discard? Water, Herbaloon, and Goldeen, that's fine. I'll just play this. You know what? I'm gonna play the Mew. Just in case. Just in case. And then we'll pass. And that should be game. Maybe my opponent has another Cynthia and he gets one more turn, but that's it. <laughs> so Seeking taking its first victim. Discarding four energy total, right? Discarding four energy total. <clears throat> okay. Do I have, I have one energy left, I believe. Okay. That's five energies discarded. Let's look her. Okay, no energy. Okay, but we did discard five energies this game. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Seeking just wrecking a peak rum. <clears throat> Seeking just wrecking a peak rum. Right. Let's. <coughs> Let's continue to use Seeking. I mean, the deck didn't flow really well, but the Articuno GX just ended up being the MVP, right? The Articuno GX just ended up being a super, super MVP. Alright. So now we're up against a Dark Metal Fighting Lightning deck. That could be so many things. Seeking, indeed, Psychic Club. <laughs> Seeking next world champion. Nice score, Bunny. I would not like to go first, thank you very much. <coughs> Is this a fighting deck? Is this Tone Turner? 
Is this the stone stud deck? I guess we'll find out. Maybe. And yeah, this is probably Stone Turner or something akin to it. Very decent start, right? Very decent start. And we find a gold team. That's fantastic. Oranguru versus Oranguru. Mine's a little more powerful, I'd say. Seeking next world champion. Okay. Uh, I feel like the text should be blue because Seeking is blue. Right? Yeah. It doesn't really show though. It's not easy to tell. Um, outline size 5. There we go. Now you can see the energy discard very clearly. Okay. So, Great Balls, Jirachis, fails the Great Ball. I have no clue what we're up against. Still. Because my opponent, like, there's a tackle there. I didn't see what he got off the tackle. Another Great Ball. He, could, he got Malan and Syndicate. So, you probably. There we go. Finally, we see the VMAX. The buff table. <laughs> <clears throat> Blitz TCG, yeah, like this is the very first set of um, Sword and Shield, right? We already we've already seen some of the new set from Japan, but um, like there, I'm sure there are gonna be full full of surprises. Okay, I'm gonna look her. I'm gonna crushing hammer, tails. That's fine. Let's go ahead and quick pull away the fava for a Goldeen. I think Rosa would be really good here. And I'll just pass. I shouldn't be getting knocked out next turn. Oh, well, actually I might with Diancy plus Guard Press. But it's fine, I think. We'll see. We shall see. If I find energy, if I don't get KO'd and I find energy, then I'm definitely gonna use the Custom Gatcher so I can put them back. We'll see. Two price evolutions do seem to be a thing of the past for now, but I'm sure eventually they'll come back, right? Okay, so there's the energy, there's the Diancy. So our anger might be going down here. And there's the Fighting Dojo, and there's the Professor's Research. Keeping a card alive with the Ranger Room, whatever it was. <clears throat> Whatever it was. Big Charm, Quick Ball, the Malolanum, another Stone Turner. Yep, Stone Turner V Full Art this time. And goes for a Data Change. He really wants to knock out my Orangaroo. Stone Journey, yeah, that's, that could be ta above table one, right? Could actually be above table one. <laughs> yeah, the energy denial, like, my opponent has already lost energies himself, two of them. The energy denial is gonna be too powerful for my opponent, I feel. Alright, so let's look her again. There we get the energy. So. Okay, what I could do is. Go for Articuno right now. Right? I kind of like that. Articuno, get rid of the two energies, and then he goes attach, whatever, but then I go, I retreat into Seeking. If I can find another energy, right? I think I like that one. Kind of like that. <clears throat> kind of like that. Alright. So, I'll do the switching for you, my friend. Don't worry about it. But, you will not be happy about this cold crush. I don't have fighting resistance. <clears throat> you know, I should, I feel. No, I'm four times weak to rock, I'm immune to ground, and I'm neutral to fighting. So, not having fighting resistance feels decent. Thick charm. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened there? 
Why did I die too? Wow, so my opponent's just digging really deep. Six energy's gone. I really need a water. <clears throat> hmm. I really, really, really need a water energy to start using Seeking. Oh, I need to up up the, the thing to seven now. So, I'm gonna do this, gonna go with a quick ball. And I'll get back to Luker for sure. Uh, no energy. No energy. So we'll let Articuno take another hit. And then we'll pass. Well, yeah, we'll let Articuno take another hit and then we'll pass. <coughs> What's tough to want to see in the upcoming sets? Ugh. That's a really difficult question to answer. Let's TCG. The set Sword and Shield just came out. So, like, I'm still getting a feel for everything. I really need to, like, understand this format before I can tell you what it's missing. Um, <laughs> but, like, I can already tell that we're gonna get more powerful VMAX Pokemon, right? More broken VMAX Pokemon, and that's gonna be the, the new norm, if you will. Okay. I guess I could have waited a turn to Cold Crush, to have more impactful Cold Crush in exchange of a Orangu. It's fine though. It's fine. I was down to five cards, so I could just build Elba and win. <laughs> like, I'm not losing this game, but I want to use Seeking though. The whole point is Seeking. I could just be winning games by using Cold Crush once. The last two games, like the last game and this one, I just went with one Cold Crush. No! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Goodbye, Ranguru, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so... Come on, I really want an energy. No! I really want an energy. There we go. Okay, so head flip. <clears throat> head flip is nice. Let's grab Seeking. Will I ever attack with Seeking though? Yeah, I'll just pass. One more energy added to the count. Eight energies and two games won so far. There's no way I, I don't want this at this game. <clears throat> How many energy does my opponent even play? Seven, eight, nine. Four cards left in the deck though, that's the key. That is the key. Alright. I should I should make a sub goal to where if we get to that amount of subs, I play seeking at a league challenge or a league cup. <laughs> I should do that. Uh, what? What just happened? What just happened there? Why did my opponent switch? Well, three cards. <laughs> he really wanted to get another prize. Okay. I really would like to discard energy though, but I'm just gonna be low by the way, right? But we'll do it with Seeking in the active. We'll do it with Seeking in the active. Discard, and GG. All right, Seeking didn't attack once this time. Seeking didn't attack once with <laughs> Articuno being the MVP. Let's give it one more try, right? I definitely thought we would lose the win streak after when playing Seeking, but 2 for 2, not bad. 2 for 2. Or play a game with Seeking for channel points. Yeah, that would that actually is a really good idea, Alex. That's a really good idea. Alright. And yeah, Blitz, 
like price price mechanics are always interesting, right? Price mechanics are definitely always interesting. Okay, so not the best hand. We can custom catcher, right? We can custom catcher to draw potentially. Benching double or angry protects us for, protects our beautiful Goldeen from Fion. Alright. Wow, just pathways. Does that mean Okay, I wanna wait. Like if they don't do anything, I won't do anything either. But maybe she's AFK though. I felt like she just timed out more than she was thinking so hard about what to do and then decided not to do anything. Hmm. Right, apparently that was it. Okay, so there's an ADP. We say, Marty, I'm happy with that. I am very happy to switch my four cards with a different four cards for sure. Um, not for these four cards in particular, though. discard with Seeking, right? I definitely can discard with Seeking this turn. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> if my one never GXs, that's gonna be great. Uh, maybe that was overdoing it. Alright, Seeking. Let's go. Ripping Horde. One heads, that's all we need. Two heads, that's completely fine. <laughs> what is this deck even? <clears throat> I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need everyone in chat to really hype this video once it comes out on YouTube. So that everyone can see the power of Seeking. And look, I do have Misty Lorelei, so I can hor- uh, not horror, <laughs> Cold Crush many times. Okay, my opponent just attaches and passes. One energy at a time is definitely not gonna be it for him, right? I'll get the energy to thin, I'll attach it here and then I'll keep this. And then Ripping Corn. One head flip. Oh yeah, now I flip all the heads, right? Now I flip all the heads. <laughs> now I flip all the heads. Okay, I'm just gonna keep the energy discarded thing here. Now I get all the heads, right? <laughs> yeah, my boy just gave up. He's like, fine. Uh, do I hit for 30? <laughs> I'll just ripping horn. Like, I haven't discarded more energies because my opponent doesn't have more energy. That's the only reason why I haven't. Skateboard, Metal Saucer. <coughs> I am very happy to see Metal Saucers. Oh, okay, getting fancy with the energy switch. Does manage the altered creation. But... We're gonna ripping corn. No. Okay. Well, at least we got one, right? One was the important, but I was like, no, come on. <laughs> and the one time we flip triple heads when he has zero energy, and we flip a single heads when he has um, two energy attached. <clears throat> All right. That's two metal saucers gone, though. Not a lot of energy gone. But that's okay. <laughs> 
Okay, the fact that she's used three costume catchers, or two, sorry, is also really good, right? That's also very, very good. Because she can bypass the dolls once. And only once. Okay, Primate Wisdom, probably putting back the middle. Wait, do you draw the card and then decide? No, you switch a card. So you have to have, like, you can't see the card and then put it back. Ooh, so decides to attach to the active. Okay, please, please, please just slip a bunch of heads. There we go, there we go. Two more energy to the count. This game is insane. <laughs> what is happening? <clears throat> I mean, I do have to careful with because of the GX attack, right? That's annoying, but this is just really crazy. We do have Articuno, that's not price, which is really good news. She keeps... <laughs> yeah, like, why do you keep attaching to the active? How do you not understand that Seeking is just destroying you? GG! Alright, so Seeking goes undefeated. <laughs> seeking goes undefeated. <laughs> 13 energies discarded. I mean, not all of them by seeking, right? Not all of them by seeking, but... <laughs> all right, so that will be all for the seeking deck, but I feel like we're gonna keep coming back to it. And I might do the the sub... the subscriber challenge to where if we get to a certain number of subscribers, I'll play seeking at a league challenge, if we get to another number of subscribers, I'll play Seeking at a League Cup. I will not play it at a regional, though. <laughs> that I will not do. <clears throat> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the Seeking fun. If you're live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We have another fun deck with Lucio. I'll be right back.